People have always been curious about the future of humanity and the fate of the universe. While the future can never be predicted with absolute certainty, current understanding in various scientific fields allow us to predict some far future events. Telescopes allow us to study our surroundings, see the universe and understand the laws of physics. Telescopes are also time machines. Through them, we can look back through the history of our universe and see some of the very first celestial objects that were birthed from the Big Bang. But telescopes allow us to see far more than our past. With them, we can see our future. We can determine the rate at which the universe is expanding, see stars being born and die, detect changes in the atmosphere of distant exoplanets, and much more. It has been said that, due to the expansion of the universe, the sky we're observing today will look radically different from the one that'll exist in a few billion years. Here's what the future would look like in the next trillion years. In the year 2061, Halley's Comet will return again. Halley's Comet is a short-period comet visible from Earth every 75 to 76 years. It is the only known comet that is regularly visible to the naked eye from Earth and the only comet that can appear twice in a human lifetime. In the year 2178, Pluto will complete its first orbit since its discovery. Pluto was once considered the most distant planet from the Sun. But in 2006, it was demoted to a dwarf planet. Because Pluto is so far away from the Sun, it takes 248 Earth years to complete one orbit around the Sun. In the year 2300, Voyager 1 will finally reach the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is the most distant region of our solar system. Even the nearest objects in the Oort cloud are thought to be many times farther from the Sun than the outer reaches of the Kuiper belt. Voyager 1 is a space probe that was launched by NASA in 1977. It holds the record of being the farthest man-made object in space. It is currently 14 billion miles away from Earth. In 50,000 years, the star Vicanus Majoris will explode in a supernova. A supernova is the biggest explosion that humans have ever seen. The explosion will outshine the entire Milky Way galaxy. In 100,000 years, many of today's constellations will be unrecognizable. We assume that the stars don't move because they've looked pretty much the same for thousands of years. But thousands of years is an eye blink in the lifetime of a galaxy. The stars do move, largely in bulk as they rotate around the center of the Milky Way. Stars are just so far away that even though they're moving at hundreds of kilometers per second, they seem pretty fixed to the casual observer. In one million years, two of Uranus's moons will collide. Desdemona and Cressida are two small moons of Uranus. They are on the path to collide with each other in approximately a million years. In 50 million years, the Martian moon Phobos will slowly break up and Mars will get its own rings, just like Saturn. The Martian moon is slowly falling toward the planet, but rather than smashing into the surface, it likely will be shredded and the pieces will start orbiting Mars. In 100 million years, as Mars will get its own rings, Saturn will slowly lose them. The Voyager probes revealed that Saturn was slowly losing its rings, at this rate they would disappear in about 100 million years. Oddly, Saturn will spend most of its life without its rings. In 200 million years, one day on Earth will be 25 hours long. Earth's orbit is slowing as the Moon moves further away. Days on Earth are getting longer as the Moon gradually moves away from our planet. The Moon is moving away from Earth at a rate of 3.82 centimeters a year. At that rate, a full day on Earth will extend to 25 hours in about 200 million years. In 600 million years, the last total solar eclipse will occur. The Moon would be so far away that total solar eclipses will no longer be possible. Don't forget your glasses. This is one you don't want to miss. In 800 million years, the sun will become so bright that photosynthesis will no longer be possible on Earth. Without photosynthesis, all plants would die. Without plant life, all animals will go extinct. This would be the time when single-cell organisms would dominate the Earth once again. In 1.1 billion years, the sun will be 10% brighter. The average temperature on Earth will reach 47 degrees Celsius. 
Earth will no longer be within the habitable zone of the sun. The sun will start evaporating our oceans, and Earth will be too hot to maintain water on its surface. But on the bright side, Mars will enter the habitable zone, and it could be our new home. In 5 billion years, the Andromeda galaxy will collide with the Milky Way. The galaxies will pass through each other, get snapped back together by gravity, and eventually merge its cores. Our new home galaxy will be called Milkromeda. We will gain a trillion neighboring stars. Anyone left alive will see an incredible night sky full of new stars. In 7 billion years, the sun will become a red giant star, it will grow larger than we can imagine. It would get so large that it will swallow all the inner planets, including Earth. After years of providing energy to the Earth, the sun will vaporize Earth. This would be the end of our pale blue dot. But don't worry, by the time this happens, we would have already colonized some other planet. In 8 billion years, the sun will start to cool down. After burning as a red giant for 1 billion years, the sun will shrink and become a white dwarf star. Any remaining life will need to get a lot closer to stay warm. In 1 trillion years, radiation left over from the Big Bang will become undetectable. The Big Bang theory predicts that the early universe was a very hot place. As the universe expanded, the gas within it cools. Thus the universe should be filled with radiation, which is the remaining heat left over from the Big Bang. This would make it harder for future civilizations to learn about the universe. In 10 trillion years, red dwarf stars will turn into the first ever blue dwarfs. A blue dwarf is a star that develops from a red dwarf after it has exhausted much of its hydrogen fuel supply. Because red dwarfs fuse their hydrogen slowly, the universe is currently not old enough for any blue dwarfs to have formed yet, but their future existence is predicted based on theoretical models. In 100 trillion years, the gas clouds needed to make stars are depleted. Somewhere in the universe, the last star is born. Soon only white dwarf, brown dwarf, and neutron stars will be left. This would end the era of stars. In 100 billion trillion years, everything outside the local group is impossible to reach due to the expansion of the universe. Even the speed of light won't be fast enough to reach distant galaxies. In 100 trillion trillion years, white dwarf stars will cool to become black dwarf stars. The universe will become pitch black. The only source of light will be from occasional supernovas. In 200 trillion trillion years, massive black holes are the only things remaining in the universe. But even they will slowly evaporate from Hawking radiation. In the last few seconds of a black hole's life, it will emit a burst of light. Providing the last light in the universe. Like a final firework show, but each firework show will be billions of years apart. After that the universe is dead, there is nothing of interest happening. But don't worry, there's plenty of time left. If the life of the universe was a year, you're living in the first millisecond of January 1st.